Hi, this is Angel Messages with Elena. I am currently at a horse rescue here in Arizona. I have been so busy in the last almost two and a half weeks taking care of a one week old who just turned three weeks yesterday and a broodmare whose baby is now, oh gosh, two weeks and also another broodmare who's going to have a baby first time. So I've been so incredibly incredibly busy. I've been trying to do, um, it's hard to get makeup on in the morning. Um, I've been doing like all night and sometimes days and now I have the whole night to myself taking care of 17 horses. <laughs> so, um, it's been really busy and I apologize for not being more, um, uh, regular and, um, dependable. I apologize for that. But I wanted to share, I know I missed all the last week, but I did want to share for this week. Um, so I'm going to do three days and then start doing one day at a time just because there's so much information that's coming in. But I wanted to get caught up from Monday through Wednesday. And um, you will want to review the uh, four weeks of May because this is the second full week well let's just take our time and going in here so um we were focusing on wisdom with mitas about our dreams that yes whatever your answer is yes this is the week to do it and um the purity and cleansing cards and loving on so that was our focus for the second week of may so may 13th and guess what we have meet us who's coming um monday is about our throats and connection family connections being reunited uh, everything about speech and me this is coming in here into wisdom i don't know what kind of monday it was for you but i've been having a lot of problems with communications as far as using cell phones or getting cell phones um old ones to charge so that i can use them for videos um misunderstanding so use your wisdom if you haven't already and also the identity card came up now the I uh, represents the um, alphabet and the number uh, coming to a blank was I nine <laughs> it's about your truth there you go that's why it's under the identity card so it's just like you know there's a profile of uh this is myself and um my two-year-old when he was two and this is like filling in the blanks it's like there's so much yet you can draw onto here to fill in who you truly are what is your truth i think it's important to know what your truth is so that others know where you stand no more being wishy-washy people. It's time to really take a stand. Um, and this is especially important if you're going into leadership. The Monday is about the moon and being um, right now it is on the the waxing. And that is about being youthful and having fun and being cheerful. So while the moon is coming into um, the fullness of to mother, you'll spend some time in what identifies you, who you are. Um, that is a part of your dreams because if you don't know who you are, then how do you know what you're dreaming of? You know, your truth and then your life's purpose. Um, we all have a life purpose. So then we come into burn. Now, a lot of these things are part of the Ezekiel's wheel that I've been working on since 2011. I will be adding another 66 um, other cards that are um, parts of the books of the Bible. And when you take apart the words, it has different meanings to it. And they may have um, different verses uh, or words that come up. So, um, yeah, I've already got like 80 some cards of these new ones, but the burning process is okay. So God is a farmer, right? Knows everything about farming. So there comes to the time towards the end that everything must burn. The weeds have to burn. Hopefully they'll get the seeds will burn. Um, those are really important for farmers because it renews the land. 
it um, gets rid of all the crud. It gets rid of a lot of the root systems because it will burn right into the soil. So this is like a cleansing process. This is also related to the number 13. And the 13 is about a leadership and family that comes into the out-of-box experiences of tradition of number four. Now there is two crystals, stones that are assigned to this. Um, according to the zodiacs back in the tribes of Israel when God gave them stones and then how it changed. So the garnet, I use the garnet, it's kind of like a really deep, almost like a blood color. So the things that you want to come into you uh, for love and um, relationships or your heart's desire. Also, if you have a bleeding disorder or if you have a disorder with your blood, you want to use garnet. Use a little salt vinegar water, clean it, add a little oil to it, and then rinse it off and then hold it to your heart and let's get it amplified because it's very healing. I used to wear it when I had a bleeding disorder for, uh, I think it was almost six years. <laughs> But um, it naturally went away on its own. So I didn't have to do, and I didn't get anemic. So um, do go to the doctor if you have to. But to know that there's some things that um, happens to our bodies that just happens and there's nothing that you can really do about it. Um, a lot of medicals is not supposed to do things to change your body. It's supposed to kind of go through it as long as it doesn't make you sicker. So it did not make me sick. So this is not a recommendation for you. <laughs> so don't go and just use the garnet without your doctor's or a holistic practitioner's um, advice, okay? And then we have the amethyst. And the amethyst is a power um, it's a protection. It also um, gives you energy, helps you focus. It heals negativity. So if you have a problem, especially Manifest Monday, I have a problem with um, staying focused, then amethyst is really, really great uh, one for you. And it's a purple one. Then we come into the purple, which is our crown, and it goes up into uh, right above. And th this is about order and God's order how we think and what we say, um, how we comprehend, how everything comes to us um, is really part of identity, you know, spanning through the stuff that other people have told us and sifting through it. So December is about the 10th fire. It's the 12th month, but it's the 10th fire. And I address this with the number one because it is my birthday, my birthday month. And I am... Um, not just nurse sign, but I am water because my name is water. So I gave it the alchemic symbol that's a up-down triangle for water. It, it could be very emotional on Monday. This is um, assigned to winter and there's 30 days of winter. So from May 13th goes to June 13th of 2019. Write that on the calendar. Something major could be happening um, that has to do with emotions or with um, being fluid or water or floods or rain or snow. Never know <laughs> with this kind of weather. So, and remember, it's about getting your lights turned on. So we have seven lights within us that comes right down into our heart, which is we are a menorah. So the menorah is the lampstand and it was written onto Israel to have these ignited. They, um, in the Maccabees, it was about how these lights burnt for eight days and one day's um, span of oil. They did not add any more. It was one day that lasted eight days. So um, very important for May 13th. Now, May 14th is, um, the Tuesday is the power of the, the Kahil, the Shekinah, the body, um, it really um, was brought in as more of an action, wisdom in action, because we had the wisdom card the day before, but it's a trust day, it's an assurance day. It's also Israel's independence day. This is when they declared the um, that they were their own nation. Um, there's a lot of things that I do um, according to biblical things, because angels work in biblical things. <laughs> this is just how they do it. So um, May 14th is about your heart. It's 
not just about heart, it's about miracles because May is a miracle month. May is a wonderful, transformational, beautiful miracle month. And it's just like, my love, my love, my love comes in on May 14th, my love. Okay, so trust and assurance. So we have Zanu, who is about assurance that came to the table. She is a number 10 card. So 10 is a really important card for leadership. She comes, uh, she took care of the remnant of uh, Israel that were lost. She took care of them on the island of Ireland. So she comes and lets you know that everything is working out. It may not feel like it, but trust, just like a child, trust that it is working out. Your angels are working. Your divine mother is working hard for all these dreams for you to come true so that you can identify yourself, that you can have your dreams. Hello, people. Don't you want your heart's desire? This is what divine is working on, wants you to have your heart's desire. And then we have the dream card that comes. This is a Pegasus, a black Pegasus. And the Pegasus was in the stars is out of the Medusa head, that when they cut off her head, the Pegasus flew out of her. So, and then um, it took Perseus to get that, get that, um, uh, I forget what it was, but that sea monster from getting the princess who was um, pure. So the Pegasus comes to your rescue, to what your dreams is are you may have more than one dream so write those things down today what is your dream it's very important to have a dream and not others dream okay not for other I had to change my own dream because I'm like oh I just wanted to work with horses and then I'm like well here I am working with horses and I'm like oh great I'm working under somebody else's dream so you don't want to work under somebody else's dream you want to have your own dreams as well Okay, so I changed mine from I want to own horses. I want to be, um, I want to fund programs, and I want to hire employees, not just a nonprofit, but I want to fund it. So, like a rescue like this, I would want to fund what they're doing so that you know the grants that they're getting, it could be the investor into them. Um, to heal horses, to heal people, into their programs for veterinarians. These are the dreams I've had for many years. And um, so it's somebody else's dream now. So now I want to be able to fund it, okay? So that's how um, the divine wants you to look at it. your dream, whether it's your heart's desire. So now we come into, right, divine is, God is a farmer. So we come into tent. And the tending, um, and there is an air about it. You have to have um, elements of, you know, fire, which is sun. You have to have air. You have to have air flow. It's just like if you live in a stagnant home and you have no air. And it's been winter for so long for many people. If you don't open up that window, for one thing, you can get really sick. For another thing, your body needs to have that air flow. Even in the the temple that King Solomon had built, there was a circulation and air flow into it. So it's very important to have air. Now this is assigned to 49 days, which takes us to July 2nd. Write that down. That could be very important to detending. Detending is pulling out the weeds. It is... Um, taking the hoe and hoeing so that the roots can grow strong so that when a big air comes through like heavy rains with winds um high winds that the plants just don't go whoop and fall down they'll come back up but if their roots are deep their stalks are going to be very strong their trunks are going to be very strong so it's very important to be able to tend to that so if you feel like you're kind of like um getting unrooted that's normal <laughs> because in order for you to stand stronger into your assurance and your trust you're gonna have to be weeded out so that your your roots can go deeper now this is um assigned to the sapphire and the sapphire is the stone of destiny it is also about uh devotion 
it amplifies energies, good and bad energies, okay? It is a truth stone. So if you want to have a, a stone and you want people to tell you the truth about you, wear it because if it starts heating up, it means that they're lying to you. <laughs> so it could also bring you uh, thoughts of joy and heaven as well. And then we come into the topaz, um, which also is about protection. It purifies. It also directs energy to people who need it. So not just you, but maybe the animals you're working for, maybe the clientele that you're working with. And it promotes truth and forgiveness as well as sapphire. So how beautiful is that? All right, today is May 15th. Is the, um, It's a beautiful, wonderful day. It's Wednesday. It's water that is under the bridge, that everything is bridged from the days of the week and that the divine can really come down and dwell within us without hesitation. There's nothing to stop it. There's no sin. There is no nothing in there that is dark. Okay, so you've gone through a process. Everyone is going through this process or has finished the process. Um, I'm one that's probably going to go through the process more and more just because of, in my name, I have a lot of fives and fives is transformation. So May is about transformation. It's about miracles. Okay, and we are uh, working with our solar plexus. Now my solar plexus is kind of hard and it's puffy again. And um, this is empowering. This is feeling like I feel too much because I'm walking on cement again, right? And I'm in pain. So I turned off my body to not feel and my body's responding. So you don't want to do that. You want to listen. It's like, okay, I need to go and put my feet up, okay? So the pain center in our head is to tell us to slow down. All right, so we have Skald. She is the goddess who is... Um, she takes care of destiny of gods and men, okay? So this is a very destiny-oriented day. This is how with your dreams and your truth that you find out what your life path is, is you get a glimpse of that future and how that looks like. You can pattern it out how it you want it to go. Just don't attached to the end result how you want it to come back because it's probably going to be so much better so dream big and be specific but don't think small too small or too vague just like how i had to change my dream don't change it to be smaller change it to be bigger all right because god just wants to you know empower you and give you gifts all right this is like miracles yeah you're gonna see it we're gonna see a lot more of that so then we have the second goddess that comes to the table, and she is Maya. So May is about Maya. Maya is, um, this one is about uh, illusions. But I, w I want to say that no more are we looking at reality as an illusion, that things are becoming magical, right? Whatever you ask, it happens. Whatever you think, it happens. That's why you have to be so in that positive frame of thought and frame of everything read a uh, book of philippians that is a very positive book i i would have that recorded before they had cell phones and play all night long i would read it in the morning read it at night because it's very positive it thinks makes you think of pure things and lovely things and beautiful things because when you get on to the negative um it just has a down down um, downhill spiral kind of thing so we want to lift each other up and that is our downfall from the last 50 years is going oh that's not real even like with Disney how he changed stories with a positive ending that's manifesting <laughs> so that's thinking the pure things and so Maya is here to remind you that uh, this is a day that has super powerful I mean I even did my my Sunday manifestation for today because I got three things yesterday to work on my art to work on music okay um the only music I've been working on is Alleluia 
and is like, yeah, I've been putting off art because I've been here, but guess what? I have all my art here. I got a desk, I got a stool where before I didn't have anything to sit on. I just had a bed and a camping chair and it's just like now I have workspace. So that is how things are happening. And it's just like, if you get that thought to do something, all right, think of how you're gonna do it and do it. <laughs> the action needs to happen as well. So then um, it's, this is a beautiful card. This is a mama. Um, two paints and this is the tie card so there's two things that could be happening to you you could feel like you're tight right you're too tied up so you want to untie yourself and to have flow so flow through um, your chakras flow through your um, speech in mercury in retrograde is all about communication is not easy so just to know um, this is, intention of this card is to bond and that there is a time that you're going to be bonding with your dreams with god um as mother or father uh, with other people um new bonds are being made so um i also have a mayor who's a first time mayor here that i may have to help her bond with her baby because it's her first baby not everyone has maternal instincts just like this baby that we're um been raising um she uh, was what they call a dummy full she didn't have a heartbeat she didn't take her first breath mama thought she was dead and went who knows when where she was the baby was found by herself and was in her last hour of living before we took her and put her to the you know veterinarians and saved her so not everyone has a maternal instincts and it's okay you can learn if you choose to learn and you can bond with anyone or anything and we got animals around that needs that bonds as well and then the, this is a card it's January, it's about New Year. But New Year is also birthday. This could be your birthday. So um, this card actually predicted the birth of um, Legacy and uh, Franny's baby. And um, it was just a focus. And it was like, focus on this for tomorrow. Well, guess what? This is the 15th. So I am checking the mayor every two hours and just to make sure that she's not gonna have her baby early because this card already predicted the birth. So this is also about air. So there's a lot of air that's going on in the last couple of days. So, um, you know, thank, thank the divine for oxygen that we can breathe. And thank the divine for the plants that is putting off all of the oxygen that we can have and you know add a plant to your everyday living as well because you may need that so january is about um the god genuous who looks to the past and to the future but stays in awareness all right so that's really important to stay in awareness and feel some yeah just like i told you i was turning myself off so you spend time and actually put on some lotion today. Um, you'll feel, feel, go out and smell things. Um, take time to smell the roses. Take time to do all of those beautiful things. Stay in awareness. It's like, you know what happened in the past, so let's learn from it. You know what's coming in the future because gold is here and she is helping you with your destiny. And to stay in awareness stay in awareness and look at the signs look at everything it's just like you know a lot of us tarot or oracle readers or prophecies um prophets we are here to help you guide you because we've already gone through everything that you are going through so we are becoming masters and sometimes we still go through stuff too and we're just giving you a heads up and so this is you know kind of the things that we are doing for all of you because we already passed through a different parts of the race and now we're handing the baton back to you so that you can finish but guess what just like how my daughter's in basic training and um the last part of basic training is finishing the race a two mile race 
and you're beating against yourself and your own time according to your age. When I joined, I was 35 years old. I had like 23 minutes to do this race and I never ran. <laughs> I sprint, but I never ran more than, you know, 30 yards. Okay, so when I was getting to uh, three quarter mark, so a mile and a half, um, I had about eight of the fastest runners come back running they ran beside me they ran ahead of me they ran behind me cheering me on all the way to the end so I'm getting you know really um teary eyed because it was so important to me to finish to finish basic training to get across that finish line it was such a monumental peak for me and then um, right when we were getting to the last 30 yards, they're like, can you pick up the pace? Can you pick it up? Let's push it. And I did. And everyone yelling and screaming and off I went. And we all crossed it together. And that is how it's happening. It's like, you're going to have faster runners ahead of you. And don't worry about them. They're coming back to help you. They're going to be beside you. They're going to be behind you. But they're not going to do it for you. You have to have want to be able to finish this race. It's almost done. <laughs> I mean, hello, we're getting to our dreams. There's going to be a little bit of karmic things coming up. Yeah, whatever. I've been going through karmic things for, what, 46 years of my life. Um, so it's not a big deal for me. I'm Capricorn. We could do everything. So a lot of the Capricorns are really the leaders and teachers to really to help you to get going that you can do this. And a lot of us don't have families around us. We don't have mothers and fathers around us. We are orphans. <laughs> we are loners. We are the hermits. And we're coming back and we're helping everyone cross that race. So I want to keep you motivated to keep sharing and liking what you see because they may not like me, but they may like the message or they may like something else. So please share. It's so important that we share all of these things because we're almost done. So I want to thank you all for um, listening to the first three days that are almost past. And we'll get this uploaded and I'm hoping to do the dailies. So again, thank you so much and I appreciate all of you and love you all. Mwah. Go in peace.